Hi there, my name is Jay with CompuMatter, and I had an experience recently where Intuit, this is uh, QuickBooks, who a lot of businesses, of course, are going to be familiar with. I'm using QuickBooks Online. I've created an invoice for a customer. I sent it to them via their email address, and the system ended up coming back and saying that it was bounced. Now, this comes on the heel of me hearing from some of my other customers um, that when they send, that they're not getting their invoices. Um, and not just from me, but from other people. And vendors are complaining their invoices are not being received. In some cases, I'm hosting that email on my servers at this store. But by far, the vast majority of people that are running into this problem have nothing to do with me. They're all over the world. And their email is getting rejected that comes out of QuickBooks Online. But because I do host uh, email for our customers, the, the ones that we've designed websites for, I was able to dig into this. So I, I look at the log files uh, on the mail server, and I can see that QuickBooks is actually rejected because the world's spam cops, the people that are in charge of determining who is sending spam to the masses and trying to block them have, in fact, identified uh, into its own servers as part of the problem. So sending an invoice from into its own program to my customers is getting rejected because the sender themselves are perpetrators of spam on a large scale. So this video talks a little bit about it and talks a little bit about how to solve it. Um, you can only solve it if, in fact, you are a server administrator. But even if you're not, at least now you know what the problem is, so you know how to talk to your people uh, that are in control of the email so that they can solve the problem. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show. I wanted to bring to your attention, SpamCop has listed Intuit's online servers as a source of spam. Now, this may be because they are, in fact, sending out spam from these same servers, but they've landed themselves in spam jail. Uh, in my particular servers, I had found uh, an email uh, that went like this, a log file that went something like this. Blocked spam cop, and it shows a particular IP link, and if we actually follow up on that link, Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Information about the reasons on your particular mail server. Let's click on that. Okay, it is listed in spam cop causes. System has sent mail to spam cop spam traps. Um, and users have reported system as a source of spam about 20 times in the last week. So they're breaking their own system. There are a number of outfits like SpamCop. Their whole uh, their job is to minimize the amount of spam that all of us, including myself, have to put up with. So it caught it in the log file. It recognized it as a sender of spam. The problem is I'm trying to send an invoice to one of my clients, and the email server is rejecting their ability to receive the email sent from within QuickBooks Online, um, and this is QuickBooks Online right here, because um, it's looked at as a source of spam. So in my particular case, because I host the uh, server, I host the email here at the store of this particular client, I was personally able to get involved in the solution. And the solution was to edit this file called RBL Override. Now, I'm using Postfix. For those that aren't using Postfix, you'll have to use another approach. And I've added these three IP addresses as OK. And those three IP addresses were identified by one of the users here. And by the way, if you were to read this link, you can read all about it. Uh, let's see. Okay, you can see right here, um, they've seen 176 rejections, always on the same I three IP addresses. So those are all belong. Those all belong to Intuit. I've added those 
in my OK file, but that really wasn't enough. We also have to edit this etc. postfix main cf file. And towards the bottom right here, we need to make sure that this variable reject unauthorized destination is in fact above this one. If this is not here yet, go ahead and insert it. Make sure you insert it below that one, and that way it will process it after um, it processes the unauthorized uh, piece of that. And the end result is I did get the email. Um, I set up my own email account on this server. I test sent it from QuickBooks Online and determined after doing those two things and then restarting uh, Postfix, for instance, uh, everything was back to normal and people are getting their emails. So that's the solution in my case. Thank you. And if you have to be able to control this on the server side. SpamCop doesn't have a mechanism of adding uh, a whitelist that protects your server. It has to be done on a server uh, level. So this is one of the advantages of hosting your own email. You can dig in and solve problems like this when they do occur. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.